Art block really sucks, but I have two ways to fight with it. So today we are doing an art challenge. Why is that? Well, because art challenges are fun and it's a great way to connect with the art community. To draw on the same. Also, I have a massive art block and I don't know what to draw. Art block really sucks, but I have two ways to fight with it. The first one. The first one is to do more studies. Anatomy studies are never enough. I draw some gestures, hands, because they are really tricky to get right. So you can draw everything. Faces, eyes, noses, but hey, everything is a study. And the second thing is to scroll through Instagram feed and to find other challenge that I like and to join it. Guess what we are going to do today? That's right, not studies, because Studies are boring and lame, no one wants to see studies, no one wants to do studies. Come on, let's have some fun. Plus, we've all seen people, we should know how to draw them. Steady or in motion. I'm foolish. The challenge that I choose for today is the redraw challenge. And I'm gonna read it to you because I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, so it's not the redraw challenge, it's the draw this again challenge. In this challenge, you pick one of your old artworks and draw it again, implementing everything you have learned, la la la. This will show how much you have improved. And keep you motivated. Okay, so this is the perfect challenge for me because I want to redraw all my old stuff. I picked this drawing right here. It's a mermaid that I did three years ago for another challenge, the mermaid challenge. Now I'm going to do it for this challenge, which is the draw this again challenge. Stay with me. But I'm mixing both challenges and mixing challenges uh, is creating maybe a new challenge you mix and combine two where you redraw uh, all challenges so maybe you're first creating a new challenge now you're just like mixing the new one without creating the first one that you're doing but now okay, uh, uh, I'm confused okay before we start drawing if you're new to this channel how dare you I have four videos right now so I checked there are four I was correct I'm I'm a professional Subscribe to the channel, that really helps me and uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, where I post all my stuff, art stuff. Okay, let's see. I have major problems with her body position. She is kinda stiff and her tail looks a bit off. We are changing that and I know it's kind of a redraw challenge but the pose is just weird and have to go. So, I started with some very basic sketch to copy the main idea and the next step were the thumbnails. I really like to do thumbnails because you can test a lot of ideas before jumping on the main sketch. And here it was necessary because... Let me share some stuff with you. Mermaid anatomy is not my thing. History knows, I tried the mermaid challenge before and well, let's say that the whole part fish, part human body stuff wasn't working for me. I ended up googling mermaid anatomy, which was a mistake, cause it gave me nothing but nightmares for days. I don't know about you, but I'm much more able to experiment with tiny sketch than with a big one on the whole canvas. And when you're doing thumbnails, you can compare and see what works, what not, and even combine stuff and see what looks boring and what looks more interesting. So, I'm picking the thumbnail that I like and continue from there, which usually is to like the position and to do a second pass, but in this case, we are here again with that tail drawing and drawing and drawing. Two hours later. Thousands of tears later. Mm -hmm. 
So now, after a lot of struggle, I am on the second pass, God bless. And as I said in my sketching video, it's cool to draw something with an idea and not just cause. And here, the idea of her holding a random ball of light is not enough for me. Like, it, it gives me no info. What is the ball even doing in the ocean? Is it the shell stuff? Is it magic? What is it? <laughs> I need answers. So yeah, I'm dropping the idea for now. Also, I tried some hairstyles. I wanted to draw her with similar braids as in the original illustration, but I didn't like the idea in the first place. Like the fact that the character is underwater gives you the freedom to draw everything more flowy and curvy and we are giving her hair some freedom. So yeah, use the environment in your advance to draw even more interesting characters. This strange gravitation of the hair indicates that she is underwater, so let's use it. Yeah, because the tail isn't indicating enough that she is a mermaid underwater. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done with the third pass or four, or who even counts. The good news is that I like the tail and now I'm adding the stuff that she's gonna look at. I decided to be more meaningful with my drawing, not only because ocean pollution is a big problem, but because, let's be real, if there were mermaids, this would be a typical Monday for them, like seeing piles of our trash in their homes. Ugh. Also, enhance that image. Yeah, let's focus on the fact that in the old drawing she's not even looking in the right direction. Good job. Actually, if she was looking in the right direction, she would be most definitely blind in a matter of seconds with that light bulb right in front of her face. I picked two color palettes, one similar to the old drawing and one just to test something different. Because I have no clue what are the rules to that challenge, I forgot to be accurate and almost did her with red hair. But then I remember why are we here today and what we are doing. I saw the original and was like, oh yes, she should be the same girl, okay. <laughs> So again, I cover some thumbnails and then when I have a winner, I do the covers again on the main sketch and then I choose my light source position and add shadows and lights. I wasn't sure for the edge of the tail, should I blend it or leave it with hard edge and in the end I left it like that because I like it and no, because I know when to accept defeat. <laughs> then I added some more details and say f**k it and I went to eat. Once I came back I saw some stuff that bothered me. Actually, this is a good side note, when you are drawing for a long period of time, it's good to step away and go to eat. <laughs> when you come back, you see some mistakes, so yeah, it's a good tip to stop drawing sometimes. Ok, 
okay we are ready with the drawing thank you for staying till the end and as I guess most of the mistakes were connected with anatomy but it's a mermaid the anatomy is in the fantasy land yeah, I'm excusing myself. Anatomy problems are a really common thing in the beginning. If you practice enough and regularly, regular or if you practice often, you will see the results. But practice like every day, every single day. Just dedicate more time to studies. No one wants to see studies. No one wants to do studies. Studies are boring. We've all seen people mm -hmm. not know how to draw. No them. one wants to see studies. Let's have some fun. Bye.